on English presents more commonly misspelled words. You already know that spelling plays a fundamental role in writing because spelling mistakes can affect meaning. Do you remember that you assign someone a responsibility? Have a close look. Despite its sound, the word responsibility is spelled with an I and so is the adjective responsible. You see, students usually get confused about words that rhyme, but the word sincerely has nothing at all to do with responsibility, unless you mean to say that you are sincerely responsible for something. Stroke is not the past of strike. In fact, they are two completely different words and they can both be either a noun or a verb. As a verb, strike means to hit somebody or something hard or with force. As a noun, it means a period of time when an organized group of employees stops working because of a disagreement, overpay or conditions. As a regular verb, stroke means to move your hands gently over a surface like someone's hair or animal spur. The noun has many meanings, but for the moment you should keep this collocation in mind. A stroke of luck or a stroke of genius refer to a single successful action or event. Of course you know that this verb means manufacture and that you should pronounce it produce. But did you know that you could also use this word as a noun? It refers to fruits and vegetables that have been made or grown. It's about organic farming. Listen up. The verb is pronounced produce and the noun is produce. Make sure to spell beginning with only one G and double N. And by the way, in the beginning and at the beginning have different meanings. At the beginning of the year, the month, the book, the film contrasts with the idea of at first, when you can't say exactly when. Do you remember that English is not a phonetic language? These two words are nouns and there doesn't seem to be a logical explanation as to why committee takes double T and guarantee takes only one. Needless to say, you should get used to looking up vocabulary items in an English-English dictionary. My favorite is Oxford Learner's Dictionary. And please keep in mind that when writing a composition, you must proofread your text to double-check for these spelling mistakes, as they can not only cause a bad impression on the reader, but they can also affect meaning. Do you happen to know what homographs are? To find out the answer to this question, keep watching the videos in this playlist. Want to know more? Subscribe to On English Online on YouTube. Thanks for watching!